part 2 of our variable frequency drive configuration using a PC or laptop with NC drive application. Plus, part 3, what will be the effect if we swap the input wires? Will it change the rotation? Stay tuned and let's find out. Uh, this procedure will also show you how to configure and check the parameters using a laptop. So we have here uh, my personal laptop. This one need to connect here. We need to take out this display. But first, we check if my personal computer has a driver for this connector for adapter. Okay, so no, we have some driver issues so here we need to figure it out or install the driver for this okay let's try to use this one but first we need to install the windows driver for our serial to usb interface Here I have a disk for the driver, so I'm gonna copy it to my laptop and install. So this is our adapter from Moxa. Model is U port 1150. Here it is already inserted to our USB port. As you can see in here, there is exclamation mark on our device connected which means also no driver so let us install our driver which I copy from the disk let's choose the correct model and extract then install the driver Installation is completed. Now our serial adapter is ready. And it is connected in port COM1. Let us open our Vecon NC Drive application. This software can be downloaded for free in Vecon DFD distributor website. In order to connect to our VFD, we should turn it on. Then we need to remove the display. And connect our USB to serial adapter. Our VFD is ready to communicate to our PC. Click the upload from VFD icon to get the VFD parameters. Now 
Now you can change all the parameters. To change its value, just double click and enter. Once you are done for the changes, just click the download to VFD icon and you are done. This application can also monitor with trend and operate via PC control. Just click the PC control and you can click start button and you can control and adjust the speed. You can adjust from 0 to 100% of speed. Always uncheck the PC control when done. Part 3 We will check the effect if we swap two input supply wires. Okay, let's check our rotation now. I will turn it on. Okay, let's check how is the face connected. So, brown, black, and gray. Brown, black, and gray. So, clockwise. Five hearts. So let's turn it off and let's swap the uh, cable. Okay, here I already swapped two wires. L1 now is gray and L3 is brown connection is still the same on this side this is our incoming and this is our motor output for VFD and same wires so let's try to turn it on okay let's observe if I turn it on let's observe what is the rotation clockwise or counterclockwise so nothing happens why because variable frequency drive convert first our three phase AC into DC so our output depend on DC so it doesn't matter what is our source as long as the rectifier do its job. Except, if you swap it here, you can try that one also. Okay, let's turn it off. Okay, now. I swap two wires here. Now our U or T1 is blue and our T3 or W is brown. Okay, so we neglect the changes here because we already know that it won't affect the rotation of the motor. So right now we will turn it on. Okay, minimum frequency and let's observe the rotation as I turn on the switch and it's reverse. Okay, so now you know. Okay, I will turn it off. 